Hey, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis. Another day, another video. Medicosis Medical Mnemonics Playlist. Today, we have a mnemonic about Prinz Metal Angina, also known as Vasospastic Angina, where your coronary arteries just decided to boop, vasoconstrict and boop, spasm, which can decrease the blood flow in the coronary arteries, which is the blood that was intended to go to the heart muscle. I came here with the naive assumption that you know what angina is. We have stable angina and we have unstable angina. And as you know, unstable angina is part of acute coronary syndrome. This is the difference. Pause and review. And don't forget that beta blockers are very important if we're talking about stable angina. But how about Prinz metal angina? Well, remember it started with a P, not with a B. Therefore, beta blockers are out. Oh, the B is out. Do not use beta blockers in Prinz metal angina. Because think about it. Prinz metal angina is vasospasm in the coronary arteries. There is less blood going to the heart. What do beta blockers do? Well, they decrease heart rate. They decrease cardiac contactility. Oh, that's not good, is it? Not when you have Prinz metal angina. So that's about the P. And then the Z, because Z sounds like a C. Instead of beta blockers, use calcium channel blockers. Because remember, when I have a spasm, spasm is basically vasoconstriction. In order for me to vasoconstrict, I need calcium, who is the hero of contraction, including smooth muscle contraction. So let me block that calcium. All right, we're gonna block that calcium. We're gonna stop the spasm. What would I see on EKG to let me know that this is transmittal angina ST elevation, which is different from stable angina that has ST depression. Beta blockers, they are good, except if you have vasospastic angina or print metal angina. In this instance, they are contraindicated. We will avoid partial beta agonists because a partial agonist is a weak agonist. But if the partial agonist is given with another agonist, it will act as an antagonist. So now the partial beta agonists are acting as if they are beta antagonists. Do beta blockers increase longevity and decrease mortality? The answer is yes, except if you have Prinz metal angina. So here's another mnemonic just for beta blockers. Beta blockers are anti-anginal. Yes, they prolong survival. That's true. Lowering mortality. Absolutely right. But there are some exceptions. You should avoid beta blockers in Prinz metal angina. You should avoid giving partial agonist beta blockers. And you should avoid beta blockers in, listen carefully, acute heart failure. I did not say avoid beta blockers in heart failure in general. Only during the severe acute attacks. Because during the severe acute attack of heart failure, you have what? A decreased heart rate and decreased cardiac contractility. Yep, beta blockers will make this worse. I know there is some controversy around this issue. So that's it for today. If you like this video, you will adore my cardiac pharmacology course available on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com, where you learn about antihyperlipidemics, antiarrhythmics, antianginal medications, antihypertensives, diuretics, and even digoxin. I have another toxicology course, an acid base imbalance course, and many, many other courses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.